Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how to take screenshot of a web page in Power Automate Desktop. So please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. So let's get started. In Power Automate Desktop, under the browser automation, you have an action which is called as take a screenshot of a web page when i drag this action into the workspace here you can see that it, it asks you to select the instance right and then you have an option to select whether you want to take a screenshot of full web page or if, if you want to take a screenshot of a specific element right and here you have an option to save this screenshot so if you want to save the screenshot in a clipboard you can choose clipboard or if you want to save it as a file you can choose it as file and here you can specify the path where you want to save the file and then you have an option to choose the file format so you have file format as BMP EMF, EXIF, JIF, JPG, PNG, TIFF, and WMF. So these are the formats which you can use to save the screenshot in. And when we go further, here we have an option to set the header handling. So if this action fails, you can specify how many times you want to retry this action so if you want to retry two times at the interval of two seconds you can specify that and keep it enabled if you don't want to retry it you can just make it disabled and if you want to set a new rule for example if this action fails you want to set a variable you can do that as well or when this error occurs you can run a subflow right and if this action fails you can here you can specify whether you want to go to the next action or you want to repeat this action or you have created some label and where you want to go right so if you choose go to label you'll have to specify the label as well right so I'll go to the brilliant parameters and this is how you will be able to take a screenshot of a web page using this action so what I will do is I will click on cancel so this is the fake name generator.com and this is the web page of which I want to take a screenshot right On the desktop I have created a folder which is named as screenshots and inside this folder I would like to save the all the screenshots okay so now I will go back to the power automate desktop and then that web page which is fake name generator is opened in Chrome so I will head to the launch new chrome i'll drag and drop it in the workspace and because that web page is already opened i will use attach to running instance and i want to attach to that web page by the title so i will choose the title and here i will specify the title of that web page here you can see this is the title of the web page which is generate a random name I will go back to the power automate desktop and just specify generate a random name I have specified the title of that web page and in case the, it is not able to attach to that web page it will time out in five seconds and the browser instance will be stored in the browser 3 variable okay I will click on save 
and then what I will do is I will take a special folder action which will uh, help me to get the direct path till the desktop here I have taken the special folder here I have taken the special folder action and it will give me direct path to the desktop and it will be stored in my special folder path variable I will click on save and then I will go to the take a screenshot of web page I'll drop it in the workspace and from here I'll choose the browser instance so when we attach to that web page the instance was stored in the browser tree I will choose this and what I want to do is I want to take a screenshot of in that web page I'll choose that and I want to save it into a file right and from here I will choose a special folder path because this is the variable which is holding a direct path till desktop as I have showed that there is a folder on the desktop which is named as a screenshots and then what I want to do is I want to name this screenshot file as error dot jpg right and then here I will choose the file format as jpg and then I will click on save okay now I will run the bot I will select the launch in Chrome right click on it I will click on run from here so now the bot is running it will attach to that web page now I will go back to the power automate desktop execution is completed successfully there is no error now I will go to the file explorer and here you can see that the file is created as error right you can see the type it is jpg file it is created on 18th of June and here you can see that it has taken the screenshot of this full web page right I will close it I will go back to the power automate desktop now what I will do is I will double click and open this take a screenshot of web page and from here I will choose take a screenshot of a specific element for that I will have to select that element I will click on this drop down I will click on add UI element and from here I will choose the element of which I want to take a screenshot so let's say I want to take a screenshot of your randomly generated identity I will press control and left mouse click this action is this element is captured I will click on save and then I will right click on launch new chrome and click on run from here bot is running it will attach to that web page and then it will take a screenshot of that element screenshot has been captured I will go back to the file explorer and this time you can see that it has taken a screenshot of only that element right so this is how you can use Take a screenshot of web page action in Power Automate Desktop. If you like this video, please 
click on like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day